Alright, so in this video I want to give a brief overview of this extension called BlurMe. Uh, BlurMe does exactly what you would expect it to do. It blurs certain parts of the desktop. You see that we have this nice little blur on the very top panel here. And when we go to the overview, we can see that our dash is blurred, our applications are blurred, or our applications menu is blurred, and our little overview in general is blurred. And it looks very, very nice. Um, now, of course, extensions like Blur My Shell already do this, so what sets apart Blur Me? Well, Blur Me not only supports blurring the GNOME desktop, it also supports blurring applications. Now, of course, as we can see here, I'm opening up applications and they don't seem to be blurred, so what's up with that? Well, <laughs> funny you ask. Remember when I said that it supports themes for blurring? It supports uh, themes that support blurring? Yeah, so this uh, blurring is on a theme by theme basis. Your theme has to support blurring in order for it to blur. So let me give you an example. So we're going to choose Material Compact, and you can see right from the get-go, we have beautiful blurring. And it's not just, you know, taking a part of the screenshots wallpaper, uh, taking a screenshot of your wallpaper. No, it's, it's legit real blurring, and it looks nice. Um, now, unfortunately, um, there are some glitches here and there, and that is not at the fault of of the uh, theme developers by any means, I'm sure. I'm sure it's just a limitation of the GNOME desktop. Um, like I said, this isn't an out-of-the-box thing. You have to get this extension yourself. Um, and we can also see if it supports the Materia shell. Um, yeah, so for, for the most part, it, it blurs all right. It definitely blurs. Yeah, we have some we have some little hiccups here, but that is okay. That is okay. Um, so, you are probably a little bit curious as to how we can actually enable these, and I'm going to show you where you're going to want to go. So, let me just reopen my initial session here. So, of course, we have the GNOME Shell uh, extension here. We also have the extensions source code, which you can check out and always stay on the latest version. Um, but you can just install it here, I'll leave it in the description. Um, but that theme that you want to install is, uh, uh, the one I'm using in this example at least, is Materia Theme Transparent. Um, and basically what you're going to want to do here is just, uh, as, as easy as it sounds, you want to git clone this repository, and then you're going to want to, you know, I'm just going to open up the install and I'll leave it, leave it in the description. You're going to want to git clone the repository, cd into it, and then build it. Um, do not, do not git clone this specific URL because this is actually from the theme that it is forked from. Git clone this specific repository <laughs> and uh, follow the rest of the instructions and be on your happy ways. But with that being said, that is GNOME 40 with some blurring and it looks great. Aside from when it, you know, my my laptop decides to slow down, but that's that's my laptop's fault. You can't blame anyone for that. But yeah, that being said, hope this video was of use to you, and have a great day.